Hi everyone, it's Liz the Frugal Libertarian from FrugalLibertarian.com and today I have a short video of a Savers thrift store haul that I did yesterday. Um, last week they had an awesome deal um, for their Black Friday sale. It was 75% um, off jeans, pants, I think other bottoms, and then 50% off all other clothes. Unfortunately, my husband had to work and I he had the car and I couldn't go and I was really disappointed but I had a 30% off coupon in my wallet because I donated these two giant bags of clothing and bedding and stuff that we just don't wear don't use don't like and that had been kind of sitting there I donated stuff a couple weeks ago and the coupon was just sort of sitting in my wallet and I figured you know what I had the car yesterday I was already on the same road as savers and I figured I'd go in and jump in I'm gonna try to make this video really quick I did actually purchase um, a couple of movies like they had Gran Torino for my husband um, and I got some more picture frames because I'm trying to build up for Christmas time because we give away pictures of our son and then um, there were some books like I got the uh, a biography on Thomas More. I got an illustrated guide to British history, which I thought was kind of cool. And then I got a book on um, American history on the Constitution and the Con Constitutional Congress um, that's actually from the 1960s, so I'm kind of interested to see its perspective. But I figured, what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see the English history books that I get? Probably not. Most of the time when you're thinking about, well, should I go to a thrift store, you're thinking about the clothes. So while it wasn't as cheap as it would have been in a regular kind of holiday sale or with that Black Friday, um, I still had 30% off, so I was very, very happy. So we're going to start with a cardigan. I got this navy blue cardigan. I'm trying to see how much of I can get in the frame. It's from... New York and Company, which is a really good brand to get. It is in pristine condition and it's a nice navy blue and it's got this ruffle that starts at your neck and runs all the way down the front of the cardigan. As you can see, I'm wearing a cardigan right now. I tend to wear a lot of cardigans in the winter, especially the three-quarter sleeves because I don't know. I just like them. It's it's just my thing. I like cardigans. I like having the shirt underneath and I like a cardigan. I've been trying to wear bright colors and the next two cardigans really fit that bill. So I got this cardigan because it's nice and bright and it's got a tan base so it kind of works with brown and I have these knee-high brown boots that I wear like all winter with uh, jeans like skinny jeans and stuff and I tend to now because I love these boots I tend to make my outfit around the boot and I thought these this would be perfect and um, it's got this really bright floral and it's got a little bit of cheetah in it so it's kind of like it fits a couple different um, categories so to me it seemed special and I'm trying to wear brights and it is if you can see that it is Charlotte uh, Tart <laughs> I'm gonna mess up saying this again Tarantola. Charlotte Tar Tarantola, I think is how you pronounce it. I've never seen this brand before. I gotta go online and look it up, but I just loved it. Um, and like I said, I've been trying to kind of branch out a little bit, and I'm looking for stuff that are special and something that was bright, and I liked that, and I thought, you know what, it's really bright, and it's kind of special. It's got these different patterns to it, so I got that. The next item I got, the last cardigan, I didn't get that much clothing-wise this trip. But this is actually a short sleeve cardigan. It's a white, regular white. I thought it was off-white and it's not. Um, regular white print and uh, it's got black and yellow dots on it. I have never been a yellow person. And the brightness of this and the fact that it was a short sleeve cardigan really attracted me to it because like I said, I'm trying to branch out and be more colorful and um, for some reason the yellow just jumped at me and I'm not usually a yellow person this one is actually Ann Taylor and it's again in perfect condition no holes no this one has no pilling I think all of them have no pilling um, no holes, no stains. There were, I hate when I'm going through and I see a top and I'm like, oh my gosh, 
The top is awesome and then it's got a stain on it. It's like, oh, no. And that happened a few times in this trip. I was kind of going in there looking primarily for like a pullover sweater because I don't have that many. I actually got rid of a lot of them because I just didn't like them anymore. So I was hunting through the pullover sweater section and I had a really hard time finding anything. And then I found this pullover, which is a cotton knit and it's got kind of like a fisherman style um, pattern to the knit. It's from Old Navy, and it's actually, if you, let me see if I can get up there, it actually still has its original sticker on it. So it hasn't been worn, and it's a really nice, like, gray. It's like a bluey gray, and I thought, you know what, this is perfect, because it's cotton, so it's not itchy. I could throw it in the washing machine, and I just really liked it. I liked the color. I liked the fabric. Like this one, yeah, still has its original tags on it and everything. This, this sweater was $5.00. This sweater was seven, and this sweater was five. I gotta look up this designer, because I don't know this designer. I'll look her up. And then this one was the most expensive one in the bunch at $8.50. So they were $25.50 total for the shirts. For all four sweaters, I paid $17.85-ish cents. Um, going to the mall, even, you know, going into the clearance sections, you can't always get prices that low. And like I said, I had a 30% off. Their 30% off actually expires at the end of December, so I figured I might as well use it while I have it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing the awesome sweaters I was able to get at Savers at really great prices. They're awesome. I can't wait to go get them washed so I can wear them this week. I'm Liz, the Frugal Libertarian. My blog is frugallibertarian.com. If you haven't done so already, please click subscribe and you'll get updates on when I put up new videos. And uh, you can also go to my blog and subscribe to that to get updates on my blog posts. So I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will talk with you soon with my next video. Bye.